Are you convinced that the, um, the, the effects of all the electric electricity that's generated, all of the climate change that might be affected by AI, is worth the benefit? In other words, is it really going to be beneficial for society to use as much additional uh, electricity uh, to get the benefits of AI? It is, no doubt, in my mind. I mean, generative AI is um, the second um, phase of AI. Then we will go maybe to the super AI sometime in the future. Um, so all of this would need huge data centers, and that's why we we're talking to everyone, and we started building so many data centers, and the world needs more data centers. Now, the problem is, to your point, the uh, power consumption with these uh, data centers. And as I said in my opening remarks, you will um, just one day of chat GBT learning is the equivalent of about 26,000 homes in the US, which consumes a lot of uh, energy. So we have to work on um, how we can balance, you know, the pros and cons of the use of uh, AI. What we are doing, for instance, in Saudi Arabia, I think is a good solution. We, in our, in our targets, by the year 2030, we want to have 50% of our power uh, generation to be based on renewable, and the other 50 will be based on gas, which emit less than uh, liquid. So we have to invest more in the renewable uh, energy. If you look at the targets, by 2040, <laughs> I think it's $283 trillion dollars needed to be um, invested uh, cumulatively from the year 2020 until uh, 2040, we haven't achieved much. What we have achieved so far is like 1.7 last year or 1.2 <coughs> trillion. So that means we have to pace our investments or deployment by 5 trillion in annual base globally. Final question at this point. Um, you are the chairman of Saudi Aramco, which is the largest corporate uh, oil producer in the world. You're also the head of PIF, which is uh, one of the largest sovereign wealth funds in the world. As the head of PIF, you're responsible for producing roughly 70% of the alternative energy that is supposed to be produced in, this, in the right. kingdom, yet you're also producing an enormous amount of non-alternative energy at, uh, at uh, Saudi Aramco. How do you balance the two? Every day do you wake up and say, I'm going to do a little bit of alternative energy, I'm going to do some for carbon energy. How do you balance this? Uh, that's a great question. 